live in a global society and it's important to understand how do we compete today to survive tomorrow. And it's this balance of building and investing in the next generation. But at the same time, understanding how do you attract the right kind of talent today to compete. And um, I did my MBA in, at Gibbs and you know, part of this I went to, I went to Chile and, uh, and, and we saw this wonderful organization called Startup Chile. And it uh, essentially attracts all the entrepreneurs from regardless of which part of the world you are. And they attract them to come into Chile and start up their companies, right? So it has one, it creates an innovation hub. Second, it creates more jobs, right? And it cultivates this concept of creation, right? Um, from my industry, from a communication industry, AI is, is fantastic, right? So as, um, as technology improves, um, you know, connection is gonna become really, really important because the underlying thread of economic growth is actually in data and analyzing that data. And that data doesn't lie just in, in places that we live, right? The growth is actually happening in semi-urban and you know, rural areas. How do we tap into that becomes important. Uh, so from a communication perspective, I think the infrastructure becomes equally important to enable any kind of socioeconomic growth. Um, so as South Africa looks towards the future uh, and Africa, I think that build and buy, understanding the balance between growing the next generation and attracting the right talent, creating the right infrastructure uh, is going to be essential. So at and for example, looks at Indigo. So this confluence of, of technologies is becoming, uh, you know, it's, it's something scary, but at the same time, it's exciting. So you've, we never had, um, you know, a Wi-Fi network talking to a fixed network previously. We never had a mobile network, uh, you know, you come into your house and then go onto a fixed network altogether. This confluence of technology, which has come about, uh, is important to understand. Uh, and what does it produce is another example. For education, for example, uh, you know, we all, you might have heard of Khan Academy. Uh, just recently, I came across something called GradeScope, right? So it talks about where's the challenge. The challenge is not about the students. The challenge is actually, do we have the right teachers to teach them? Or are we teaching them something that doesn't really exist, right? So I learned Unix and COBOL when I was in university. I really don't use it anymore. So by the time I came into the industry, I never used it. Uh, and this great scope actually simulates a teacher and says, okay, if you give me X, Y, and Z as an answer, your grade is going to be between 75 to 80. And if I don't understand something, I ask a human to answer it. So this, again, man with a machine trying to understand a challenge, uh, stimulating growth. Because it's, it's, it's tough to educate someone if you don't really understand what you need them to learn. And I think that's going to be the biggest challenge for us.